I'm Chris with Metters Musings, Toys, Tech, and more. And as we approach February 1st, if you're a LEGO fan and you've read the title of this, you know it's a big day. But so far, I am getting swamped with people asking me, Chris, I'm drowning in LEGO minifigures Series 15, but I keep getting the Samurai guy and all I need is the Shark guy. What can I do to make sure that I don't get a 16th Samurai guy? Well, I'm glad you came to this channel because I'm here to help. I'm here to make sure that you find exactly what Lego minifigure from Series 15 you're looking for. I do these videos all the time. This one's gonna be a little bit different. I'm not gonna just open the packs and such. I'm just gonna show you the figures and show you what to be looking for. But also check out the description here. You'll be able to click on a link to see which specific figure you are looking for so that you don't have to watch the whole thing here if you're just looking for one specific figure. Make sure you check that out in the description. But enough about that. Series 15 Lego minifigures. Let's get to helping you figure out what's inside each bag. So let's start it off with my favorite of this series, the shark guy. I love the costume Lego minifigures and I love sharks and this is just the perfect minifigure. This one is super simple to find in the bag. All you're going to be doing is you're going to be feeling for the headpiece. You're going to feel a very long piece right here and these pointy little parts with its tail and of course you got the dorsal fin right there which is also pointy. A real super easy minifigure to find in the pack. Now I would like to commend Lego. They have five of these guys per box. No longer are the costume ones just three per box. Those always seem to be the most popular and Thankfully for series 15, the shark guy, you can find five per box. So hopefully you won't have any difficulties finding this awesome minifigure if he's the one you're looking for. Taking a look here at figure number two, we have the knight and he's got lots of cool detail. Now, I should point out for Lego minifigure series number 15, you're going to find a lot of figures with these kind of rod pieces right here. The knight is no exception. So if you're feeling through the packs and you find a rod or a cylinder type piece, you need to be careful. It can't be the only thing you're looking for. So for the knight, the key giveaway here is the shield. Make sure you find that shield. It's got that kind of odd shape with the point at the end here, the flat along the top there. Once you find that shield piece, it's a dead giveaway. You've got the knight. Taking a look at the next figure here, we have the satyr or the fawn. And as you can see, his flute right here, another cylinder type piece. So it can get a little bit confusing. We have the knight, now we have the fawn. So you really have to be careful with this one. The key with this one is it is going to be the only extra little piece in the bag. As you're feeling up and finding things in the bag, you're only going to feel this cylinder piece. Now, you could try to feel for the hair piece as well. It can be a little bit difficult. And of course, if you look here, the legs are a little bit different. But when you're feeling the minifigures and you're feeling the legs, it's kind of difficult to kind of distinguish between these specialized legs. So what you really have to watch out for is just the cylinder piece. Feel around a lot to make sure that it's the only extra accessory in the pack. Next here we have the janitor, a really cool looking minifigure, but again, he's one with one of those rods or the cylinder pieces, but this one is a little bit longer. Now, to really distinguish for the janitor, you're going to try to want to find this bottom mop piece. Now, it may feel like a head, but as you feel it a little bit more, you'll notice it's a little bit longer and it's got these kind of bumpy things all along the bottom. You can also try to look for the hat. The hat is also a very easily distinguishable feature within the pack. So once you find the hat, the long rod, the mop, and you know you've got the janitor. Next, we have the farmer. Now for the farmer, you might think, well, you know, you feel for this pig and it's pretty obvious. Well, not necessarily. There is another figure in this series with an animal accessory. So you don't wanna just rely on the pig. What you wanna be looking for here with the farmer is his pitchfork. It's very distinguishable. It's got those three prongs along the top as well. His hat, 
can also be another dead giveaway. But with the farmer, as I mentioned, you don't want to just rely on the pig because there is another figure with an animal in this. So again, feel for the pitchfork and the hat and you'll know you'll have the farmer. Next up, we have the Spaceman. And uh, this is a continuing trend with LEGO Series 15. This one, again, has another one of these rod cylinder pieces. So you have to find something else. And thankfully with the Spaceman, there are some very distinguishable accessories. You've got the flag piece right there. It's the only square type piece in the set. And on the ends of it, it has those little connectors right there for the rod there. So it's a very distinguishable distinguishable piece within the pack. I've also found it pretty easy to find his little backpack right there, easy to figure out, as well as his sun shield right there that goes on his helmet. So there are some easy pieces to find for the spaceman, the flag, his backpack, or the sun shield right there. Find those, you know you've got the spaceman. Next up, we have this awesome looking robot mech. I just love the colors, the black and the blue, the translucent blue there for his wings, that uh, saber blade, the light blade is really awesome. So for this guy, you could try to find this chest piece, but again, there's another figure in this series that has that type of chest piece. So what I found the easiest thing to do is try to find these wings. They feel very solid. They're pretty easy to distinguish, distinguish, or you can try to find his uh, saber sword. It is pretty flexible and bendy, so it is pretty easy to find within the pack, but this is a really cool minifigure. I know Devin loves this one. So here's the other figure with the different type of chest plate. Again, that could be confused with the robot mech, but this winged warrior guy, he has a lot going on. He's got a lot of pieces in the bag from the wings to the clips that go on the back to clip on the wings. He's got the cool little awesome helmet with the wings and of course the spear. Now if you find the spear, another long cylinder type piece, you will find that the tip is pointed. That's a dead giveaway. If you can find these wings in the pack, another huge giveaway. Uh, some people have found that finding these little clips kind of gives it away. But for me, the wings, the spear, the helmet, once you find those, you know you've got your winged warrior. So next up, we have our Kendo Master. We got this nice, cool, dark blue looking figure right here. He's got a couple of swords, and that's what you're going to be looking for. You're gonna be looking for the swords. Now you may think, well, that might get confused with the robot mech, but these swords, the handles are very distinguishable with that little piece that juts out. Again, you could look for the helmet there with these two little pieces that stick out, but for me, Finding the swords is the easiest way to distinguish this Kendo Master. Next up, we have our wrestler, the champion wrestler. And he's a very easy minifigure to find in the pack. Why? Well, because of this trophy right there. It is very easy to feel in the pack. Now, I guess for the hair pieces, I never recommend feeling for hair pieces, but he's got that long mullet there. So it's a pretty easy thing to feel for as well. But the trophy, the only real accessory in the pack, very easy to find within the pack. You find that trophy, you know you've got the wrestler. Next up, we have an awesome minifigure right here. And this is, this is an injured guy. You know what? He may have slipped on that banana peel. I mean, look at that evil face on that banana peel. Anyway, this is a very easy figure to find because you're just looking for these crutches. They are very obvious when you feel them in the pack. So you find the crutches, you just have to find one and you know you have it. It feels very triangular. You might maybe confuse it with the knight's shield, but I mean, it's got these long parts right here. It's really easy to distinguish. I love this character. You got all the printing on the side of his cast right there. You get the two crutches, you got the bandage on his face. You got a really cool shirt. Like I said, you've got some sinister evil looking banana right there. A really awesome figure in the Lego Series 15 lineup. So next up, we have this awesome Native American female figure. It's really cool. You got a lot of great detail, a lot of great printing on this figure. Now to find this one, you could look for this little L-shaped piece there. You can put the baby on the back of her right there. But for me personally, I found it no problem to figure it out by just looking for the baby right there. It's kind of got a rounded feel with a flat kind of bottom. It's really easy to distinguish. You could also look for the feathers that go on the top of her head. But again, I just look for that baby piece. It's, it's 
kind of rounded, like I said, flat on the bottom, really easy to distinguish within the pack. So next up we have the animal control, pest control woman, whatever you want to call her, and she comes with this awesome skunk. Now before you might remember I said don't just necessarily feel for the animal because there is a pig in this series and there is a skunk as well. But to find the animal control, the pest control figure, super simple, just find this the basket right there. It is so easy to find. It's huge in the pack. That dome shape with the uh, long handle, super simple to figure out. If you are feeling for the animals, the skunk of course has this very long tail. Again, pretty easy to distinguish between the pig and the skunk, but for her, all you have to do, find that basket. Super simple. Find it, you know you've got the animal control, pest control figure. Next up we have this ballerina, another really cool minifigure in this series. Now to be honest, I had a tough time figuring out the ballerina. Now that's because the only accessory she really has is this tutu piece right here, and I kept getting that mixed up with these silly little base plates that come with it. Now I know the base plates have those little studs in them. This little piece right here has like a middle piece where the legs kind of fit in. So you do kind of have to feel that. It kind of feels frilly along the edges. You can feel it, it's kind of bumpy. The other thing I did find, again, and I know I've mentioned this before, I don't like to suggest feeling the hair pieces, but you can feel the bun right there on her hair. And then again, if you find a piece that maybe you think, oh, there's two base pieces in there, good chance that you found the ballerina. Next up here we have this Jewel Thief, another awesome figure here in LEGO Series 15. Now with the Jewel Thief, there are a couple of things you can be looking for. Me personally, the easiest thing I found is to find the little gem piece. Again, it's very distinguishable, very small. It's got that gem feel, you know. Uh, you could also look for her grappling hook, that three prong thing right there, or her little megaphone that is part of the grappling hook that you stick that into. Again, a fairly easy figure to find within the packs. And lastly, the easiest one to find for LEGO Series 15 minifigures, and that is the Queen. A very cool figure because of the piece that you're going to be looking for, this big, huge base piece. And it feels like a brick in the pack. Once you feel it, you'll know it. It's a very easy piece to feel. That's the queen. I mean, you could also look for the crown if you want, but you're not going to have to. Once you feel this huge base piece, again, feels like a brick, you're gonna know you have the queen. So that wraps up this how to figure out what's in every pack of the LEGO series 15 minifigures. As I said, they officially go on sale on February 1st, 2016. But if you shop around right now, I know there are some Targets, Walmarts here in Canada, Mastermind Toys. They've been releasing them early. So if you're watching this before February 1st, check out some of those stores, they do have them. If not, wait till February 1st, then get out there and start feeling up those packs. Now I know some of you when I do these, you ask about the bump codes. For me, those seem to be hit or miss. Sometimes they work for me, sometimes they don't. I get a little bit confused with the bump codes, so I don't rely on those. I will feel up the packs and I know most stores will allow you to do that. So I hope you found this video informative. I hope it helps you find those shark guys and not 15, 16 of maybe those kendo master guys right there. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit up that like button. It lets me know that you enjoyed this and I will continue to keep doing these type of how-to and uh, helpful type videos for you guys. Also feel free to leave me a comment. Who's your favorite in this series? I know mine, shark guy right there, front and center, love him. Let me know what yours is. And also feel free to subscribe, that way you won't miss any future videos here on Matters Musings, Toys, Tech and More. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.